Hello, everyone. Welcome to another session in Golang. So in this session, I will explain you what are the maps in Go, what are the different types of syntaxes for maps in Go, what are the duplicate key scenarios for maps, how we can iterate through map, and next we'll prove that map is an unordered list, as we say it is. Now, after that, we'll show different operations in map that we can do, that is insert, update, or delete. So let me first try to uh, make you understand what a map is. So in Go, it is a list of unordered element. It stores the values in the form of key and values. Key should always be unique, like we have used to have it in dictionary in any other language. Now the maps are dynamically resizable. That is, we can insert as many elements into map as we can. They are reference type, obviously. Reference type means not safe for parallel programming. There are other different scopes to it. So I'll cover this in the advanced uh, level courses for Go that I will be uh, putting in after some time. Now, uh, let me show you everything programmatically about the maps that I have told you till now. Now, first talk about the syntax of map. So we can declare map via two ways. So there are two syntaxes. One is we'll say map as a keyword, then key type, and then value type. Now, <clears throat> the key type always, uh, the sorry, it is key type. Now the key type, this key type should always be comparable. That means whatever the key type we are taking here, right? It should be comparable. That means we can either apply equal to or non, nor, uh, not equal to operator with it, like string, integer, etc. But it cannot be a slice because slice is not comparable, right? For, uh, for example, if I have a two slice, slice one and slice two, and if I say slice one equal to slice two, and I expect a Boolean result out of it, it will always be the false, whether it is uh, equal or not. The result will always be a false. So that means slice is not comparable. So uh, this is the very first syntax of map. Now the other syntax of map is using the make keyword. So as I have told you previously, make, this is the syntax of make, make type size and custom. So I've explained you map in my previous sessions. You can go and check out the previous sessions for it where I've explained what exactly the map make is. So here in case of map, we'll just say make and the other variables are done, make and then the type of the, or I'll say make, and I will just copy this and this. So these are the two ways through which we can uh, declare the maps in Go. Now let me show you programmatically. So I'll uh, declare the map using both the ways and I'll just print out the maps for you here. So I'll say this is a custom map. I'll first make use of make. And here I will say map of string. E is string and value should be integer. So this is how I have declared a map. Now what I will do is I will insert values to the map. So I will see map name a should have one map name B should have two map name C should have three. Now I will see FMT dot print ln and I will say C map. Now here what I have done is hmm, declared the map initialize map with values. Now same is this, same is this, and same is this. Now this is the first way through which we can declare and initialize the map. Now let's talk about the second way. So I have used make here. Now I will initialize and declare the map using this now. Now let's do this. I'll say first way. Now I will say second way. So here I'll say it is C map one. Now I will do it as a map. Now the type is string and value type is integer. Now this is another way of doing it. I will say, say D value is one. E 
value is let's see the value is four value is five and f value is six so this is another way of declaring and initializing the map i will say c map one so here you can see i am declaring and initializing the map in a single go so this is also called as idiomatic way of declaring or this is just called as an idiomatic way where we are declaring and initializing the map in a single goal so let me run the program for you here i will say go run hello.go you see it has created a map of three element so it says it's a map key is a value is one key is b value is two key is c value is three this is for this map now below that it is saying key is D value is four, key is E value is five and key is F and value is six. This is for this map, right? Now let's talk about the duplicate key scenarios in map. Now what will happen if, it, if I will try to insert a duplicate key to the map? Now let me first comment it or let me just remove this part. Now say if I will try to insert a key with the name of F again and the value is say seven. Now what will happen? Now this is one of the greater benefit that you can see it is showing me a red sign here itself. And if I'll say so before compiling my program, it is showing me that it is a duplicate key. Now how it is being shown because uh, I have installed the extensions related to go in my VS code and that's uh, making it so powerful that without even compiling my program, it is showing me the error beforehand. So you can look into the IDE setup and installation video that I have in my playlist for uh, more information on it or how to do it. So let's prove it by just running the program. You see it says duplicate key F in the map return. That means map cannot have duplicate key, but can it have a duplicate value? Yes, obviously. Now, if I will print it, you see, it can have duplicate value. The value 6 is for F and G. Let me clear the video for you. Now, the other way here is, so in this scenario, if I, will, I, I have tried to add a duplicate key here, it has given me an error. Let's see what will happen with the other way. Now, in this way, if I will try to add a duplicate here, key here, let me comment this part here before I'll go. Here, and the value is four. Now, what I am here doing is, Now what will happen in this here? So here what I'm doing is key is a value is one, key is b's value is c, key is c and the value is three. Again, I am trying to do that. Okay, key is c and value is four. Will it give an error or will it run? Let's see. Ah, so it runs. Now what's the difference between the way how I have declared here and the way how I have declared and initialized here because this way is provided by Golang for updating the map, right? If we want to update anything in my map or if I want to update the value of a key in a map, right? So I will just write the name of the map, then bracket, then the name of the key and its value. So with this way, map will always update the value of the key, you know? So that's why it is saying A is for one, B is for two and C, first it put the value of C as three. Then finally it has updated the value of three to four. That's why the C value four is being shown here, right? Yes. So with this, this is the way we can either insert a new value or update an existing one in maps. So this is the part of how Golang has provided with us. Now let's talk about the iterating through the map or how we can iterate through the map, right? Now, uh, let me do it one thing for that. Now, let me remove this and 
Now this is my map. Let me rename it. it says custom map and custom map. And G should be seven. Let me put it here like this. Say A, B, C, and it should be like this. The value of A is, should be one, two, three. So here I have declared a, and initialized a map in an idiomatic way here. Now let me write a for loop here instead of printing the whole whole map in here like I will say for e comma value range now name of the map and here inside it what I will do is I will say now e and value R, I'll say E comma value. Let me correct the spelling for you here. Now, there's an another session where I have explained in this playlist how you can write for loops in map and how you can iterate through different elements. So you can look into that uh, video or a session to have more just about how to write for loops and iterate through any element. So. So now here what I'm doing is I've declared and initializing a map and then I'm iterating through each and every element of the map and printing what is the key and what is the value. Let me show you the output for it. So what it will print is it will say, okay, key is A, value is one, key is B, value is two. Now let me quickly start it. You see key is F, value is six, key is G, value is seven, key is A, value is one. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed here is, you know, the first key is A and the value is one, but the way how it is printing is, it is printing the first key as F while inserting the first key is A, but it is printing F. Now the second key is G, now here it is B. Though the key and value combination is exactly the same of how it is, but the way it is printing is unordered, right? That is why we say that map is an unordered list. Now, if I will run it again, so the order it will print will be different from this order, even from this order. You see now, previously it has given F6 first, now it has given G7. Now, every time, whenever you'll run, the output will be not in the same order. Now it is in the same order of how it is. If I will run it again, the order will change, you see. Every time it will change the order because it is an unordered list. You cannot predict in which order you will receive the values out of it. Okay, now let's talk about the operations in map on how, what, what operations we can do if in map is. We can do insert, update, or delete all the three operations in map. So let's do it here and I will show you. So let's first start with insert. So how I can insert an element to a map is, I will say C map and say, I want to insert a new key H and the value should be eight. Now I will say FMT dot print ln and I will print C map. This is how I insert. Now let's talk about an update. So insert and update, the syntax is exactly the same. I want to update the value of H to 10 here. Now it is update. Now let's talk about delete. Now for deleting from a map, there is a method that we have to call and that method is called delete. You see delete, it is expecting that we pass map, reference to a map and the key we want to delete. I will say delete and I want to delete from C map. Now what key, key I want to delete is A. And I will print C map. Now the syntax for insert and update is exactly the same. And this is why in my previous uh, program where I was 
trying to insert a duplicate key, it was not actually giving me an error because the syntax is exactly the same. So Go says, if there's an existing key with that proper syntax, it will update the value. If it is not there, it will insert a new value to it using this. But when we go via idiomatic way, it will give an error. But it's saying that, okay, you cannot insert a duplicate key. Please refer to that part of the video if you want to have more details about it. Now, this way you can delete it. Now, let me show you programmatically. I'll run this program. You can see first, I have inserted a value 8 to a map. It is giving me an H8. Second, I have updated the value of H from 8 to 10. So in this row, the value is 8. Now here, the value has become 10. Now here, I have deleted the key A from the map. So you see, for the first two, it has started with A, but from last, it has started with B. So uh, this is all about maps in Go. So in the future sessions, we'll learn more and more about the Go language. Please like and comment and subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you very much, guys.